Hey what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am Tushar and you are watching Film Tush. In this video I will show you how you can change your background for just 300 rupees. I have set up the green screen on the rooftop. So that means I am shooting it in outdoor. That's why I don't have to buy any lights. And one more thing you can do like you can buy a stand, green screen stand. That would be very useful. That may cost you around 1500 rupees. Double click on the empty layer to open the video in After Effects and then select your video and it will be open now just click and drag it on the composition settings and it will be in the composition and we will trim it to four seconds so just drag the line here and then go to composition and then trim comp to work area this way your footage will be trimmed to four seconds or the length you want search in key and you will find the option key light plus key cleaner advanced build suppression just drag it on the layer now click on the eyedropper tool and click on the green color and it is now transparent you can't see it because I don't have any background right now well now change it to screen matte and what you have to do you have to make the white as white as possible and the black as black as possible like the solid black and solid white in order to do that you have to use the screen matte option and tweak the value of clip black and clip white only these two options you have to use to make it solid black and the foreground is solid white that means you have to be solid white and the background your green skin should be solid black in the screen matte option okay so here i will set my value around zero as you can see now if i turn it around 27 it looks fine for me and i will change the white value around 29 or if 29 is fine and I, as you can see don't go too much just uh, around 28% was fine for me it might be different for your case okay and screen shrink and grow option is very important well you can shrink your edges or grow your edges so in that case I will shrink because that is good and minus 0 0.5 is just fine and the screen softness 0 0.4 is just fine and in the intermediate result you can see that our footage is now transparent but you can notice that green color is just reflecting all over my body so we will fix that and just click on that reduce chatter option first and then click on the advanced spill suppressor you can't see that well just let me drag it well advanced spill suppressor see what it did when you checked it and all the green color is gone see again okay unchecked green color is there and when you click on the effects that means effects on green color is gone you did it man you rock you did it i'm going to show you more options like how to color grade your footage and how to match with the background your foreground that means your subject should match with the background before i continue the tutorial please consider subscribing this channel and press the bell icon to be notified whenever i upload a new video now import your background and then just drag it below the main video which is our green screen video is the main video so the background is below the green screen and then scale it press s to scale and then increase the value or adjust it accordingly and it doesn't look real at all right now but we will make it to look as real as possible you know this is a green screen tutorial but when you complete editing people should not notice that it was shot on a green screen it should look very much realistic now select well search for brightness oh, yeah brightness and contrast and drag it on the green screen layer and increase the contrast see it depends on the footage you have okay in my case 
I need to increase the contrast to match with the background and maybe a little bit brightness still the color does not match I will show you the easiest trick ever to color match your footage see you don't have to use carve level or anything like photo filter nothing the best and easiest way to color grade your footage to match with the background well before a color match I will see if anything wrong with the keying so basically I can see some white portion in the background that means it is not well keyed out so basically it can't be keyed out those portions so I moved it to, towards right and still there there are some white spots so you need to fix that before applying any color effects well to remove that spot I don't know if you can see the spot over here yeah you see the circle just in the center you can see the spot so in order to remove that we will use the screen deposit white and increase that value and you can see like 2.1 just remove that spot okay this is very useful in some cases and we will mask out the area that we don't need that would be very useful if you can mask the area you don't need and as I remember that I am not moving my arms towards right so we can mask it out well now back to intermediate result now as I mentioned I will show you the easiest way to color grade your footage very very simple way well what you have to do you have to duplicate your background and your foreground that means your green screen footage and the background well we will rename the background so that you can understand what I am doing well just rename the background as background okay and select the green screen press ctrl d to duplicate select the background press ctrl d to duplicate well now drag the background to layer above the green screen dot mp4 okay and then change the well if you can't see that mode just toggle switches okay that option is just here well just toggle switches and then you have that option track mat and set it to alpha mat Okay, set it to alpha mat well now you can see the background is visible through the shape we have I mean through the subject we have that is keyed out well basically we will use that layer as soft light and blur it out to have the effect of the environment light well now box blur add box blur and increase to like 57 is just fine for me and change the mode to soft light and we are almost done as you can see the effect you can see the effect before and after and if you find some weird shadow all around your face you can just decrease the opacity well you can tweak the value of brightness and contrast to make it as good as possible it already started looking like it was shot in that studio okay and the last thing you can do you can blur out the background so that it looks like you have shot the footage with a DSLR okay so search on camera and you can see the uh, camera lens blur okay just click and drag it on the background layer and make the blur radius 14 is too high like 11 or 10 is just fine 
12. Now this footage looks like it was actually shot on the studio with a DSLR. So if you are using green screen that means you can change your background to anything you want. But remember it should look real. People should not notice that you have used a green screen. Well now it's time to render so select composition and then add to render queue and then select your directory so basically select your output location and whatever you want to select so just select it and then save and now click on render that's it if you enjoyed watching this video please consider subscribing to this channel and press the bell icon to be notified whenever i upload a new video in this channel i am sharing a lot of things like 3d animation vfx graphic designing video editing a lot of things so share this video and this channel link to your friends or whoever is interested in this line thanks for watching